What's good YouTube, it's Marcella and today we're creating a tournament to see which fight style is superior, the striker or the grappler. Two legendary AIs will face off to see which fighter gets into the final and to find out what style you should be using in UFC 5. Let's get straight to the video. First up in the tournament, we have Conor McGregor facing off against one of the most dominant grapplers in UFC, Islam Makhachev. He is bleeding now, looks to be cut perhaps oh! A three round war between these two, Islam Makachev gets the decision win and he moves on to the quarterfinals. He will face the winner of Khabib Nurmagomedov and Mike Perry. Next up in the tournament, we have one of UFC's most famous strikers, Anderson Silva, facing off against Hamzat the Wolf Kamayev. After three rounds, Hamza Chamayev gets the decision win and another grappler moves on in the quarterfinals. Next fight on the tournament, we have Mike Perry facing off against the most dominant grappler in UFC, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He's willing to go through the fire in order to get the fight to the ground. He's been able to do that. He is a man who has a great... To rain down the opponent, better move out of harm's way. The referee's up. He landed it. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Perry. So he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to do that. Khabib easily gets the win, stopping Mike Perry by TKO in round number two. He will now move on to the quarterfinals where he will face off against Islam Makachev. Next fight, we have Sean Strickland facing off against Dan Henderson. With the left there. Sean Strickland gets the TKO win and he is now our first striker to get into the quarterfinals. Next up in the tournament, we have a fight that's going to happen in real life. Sean O'Malley facing off against Marab the Machine. Oh, 
after three rounds, Sean O'Malley gets the decision and he moves on to the quarterfinals. Who do you think will win in real life? Comment down below. Next up, Dustin Poirier will be facing off against the bad guy, Chael Sonnen. In there from the king of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier, Mike Brown there in the corner. He's really home Dustin's all the game, and he certainly finds himself in the middle of this fight. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. After three dominant rounds, Chael Sonnen and TKO's Dustin Poirier and another wrestler moves on to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Matt Hughes facing off against the nicest guy in the UFC, Steven Wonderboy Thompson. What a great job. And he connects there. Take it for a ride. Favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value. Got to be careful here. Oh, heavy shots raining down. After three dominant rounds, Matt Hughes gets the TKO win and moves on to the quarterfinals. Our last fight on the prelims, we have Magomed Ankalaev facing off against one of the most feared strikers in the UFC, Alex Pierre. Round number two, Alex Pira gets the KO win and he will move on to the quarterfinals. Out of 16 fighters, only three strikers move on for a chance to win in the finals. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> First up in the quarterfinals, two of the most dominant wrestlers in the sport, Islam Makachev facing up against Khabib Nurmagomedov. After a close fight, Khabib gets the decision win and moves on to the semifinals. He will face the winner of Matt Hughes and Sean O'Malley. Next up, we have Sean Strickland facing off against the Wolf Hamza Chamayev. the shirts ground and top oh big big shot in dc oh look out what this guy brought beautiful punch lands there A crazy back and forth fight, Hamza Chemayev steals the win from Sean Strickland and he will now move on to the semifinals. Next up, Matt Hughes versus Sean O'Malley.
starting to light him up now. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head of the clinch. Wow. Driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. After a not so entertaining fight, Matt Hughes wrestles Sean O'Malley to a decision win and he moves on to the semifinals. Our final fight of the quarterfinals, we have Alex Piero facing off against Chael Sonnen. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, Chael Sonnen made his pro debut one month after his 20th birthday, so this atmosphere certainly is not going to fit right Absolutely insane. Alex Pira KOs Chell Sun in 14 seconds into the fight. He moves on to the semifinals where he will face off against Hamzachi. First fight of the semifinals, two of the most dominant wrestlers in the history of the sport. Matt Hughes facing off against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Well, you start to really worry about the. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. After three rounds of wrestling, Matt Hughes gets the win and moves on to the finals. He will face the winner of our next fight, Alex Piera and Hamza Chamaya. Hamza Chemayev TKO is the last striker in the tournament and that means he moves on to the finals where he will face off against Matt Hughes. Number four, Hamza Chumayev TKO's Matt Hughes, and he is now crowned the king of the Strikers vs. Grapplers tournament. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below what other videos you would like to see.